We are tracking a few disturbances out into the Atlantic. Now we're talking far into the Atlantic, these little splotches of green, but this is important because these could end up developing into some kind of cyclonic activity, which would mean that we could see a tropical storm or even hurricane develop out of this. But here's also the deal. The Pacific has been incredibly active so far this season, and it's kind of this ebb and flow. So when the Pacific Ocean is active with hurricanes, tropical storms, usually we see a really quiet Atlantic basin. But we have really warm Gulf temperatures, Atlantic temperatures, and now we're inching towards the peak of hurricane season for the Atlantic, which does usually peak into early to mid September. So you see where we're at today compared to the peak of hurricane season, but it has been a pretty quiet start so far. So here are the ingredients. You need these water temperatures above 80 degrees, and let me tell you, we are well above that threshold. But then you start to get these winds coming in from different directions, and as they do and converge, that's going to force some of the air upwards. You pair that with an abundant amount of moisture over the water, and then upper level winds that are blowing roughly in the same direction, and you start to see the spinning with these systems that could end up with more of that cyclonic activity. So as far as the heat potential to create these tropical cycles, Clones. It's right there for you as you look off into the Caribbean, going into the Gulf, those shades of orange that we see that would fuel any storm system that comes in off the Atlantic, pushing into the Gulf and some long range models have this potentially late next week moving into the Gulf. Now it's not a slam dunk by any means, but I'm just showing you this in case you have maybe a late summer vacation, you're squeezing in before school starts. Look at these temperatures, close to 90 degree surface temperatures all across the Gulf Coast. So if that system moves into these really warm waters, it would strengthen at a rapid pace.